Secure, trustworthy exchange of data has well and truly become a regular concern of ours. Modern networked society relies on fingerprint scans for accessing electronic devices, secret pins for using bank cards, and data encryption for communicating over the internet. On the flip side of all this technological progress, we have cyber criminality and data theft. Physicists and computer scientists of the University of Luxembourg are taking a whole new approach to developing anti-fraud and theft-proof identification systems. Their idea is to use liquid crystals to produce unique, forgery-proof patterns. Liquid crystals can reflect light in much the same way as butterfly wings or peacock feathers do. They combine a multitude of different properties like no other material. This is the basis for their successful use in screens on televisions and smartphones. Liquid crystals have long-range ordered structures, although they are liquid. So for instance, the one we use here, the molecules, they, they arrange in a helix. So it's like a corkscrew, but a liquid corkscrew. And as you flow this, the whole corkscrew just rebuilds wherever you leave it. But the optical properties are often the same as for solid crystal. That's why it's called liquid crystal. By producing tiny spherical capsules, only a tenth to half a millimeter in size, new combinations of unique reflection patterns can be randomly created over and over again. These are excellent prerequisites for security applications. In their original liquid crystal form, the capsules are still too sensitive for real-world use. It's a little bit like a soap bubble, very, very small. But then in the end, we want something that is durable. So what we do is we, we polymerize these spheres. So we turn them into a polymer, and polymers are plastics, basically, right? If we don't polymerize, they would last maybe a day, maybe a few days. Then these spheres would typically pop. The Interdisciplinary Center for Security, Reliability and Trust of the University of Luxembourg Security experts are working here to make the patterns produced by the crystals readable for computers so that they can be used in digital communication. Only if the digital representation of the pattern is as forgery proof as the original can the technology be used in practical applications. The results are highly promising. They could even achieve a higher degree of security than our conventional identification methods. We can think of a crystal like if it were a fingerprint of the object. The only fact that we can produce as many crystals as we want, and any crystal will be unique. We claim being unique each time. The fingerprint has only 10, for example. But also fingerprint can be easily cloned. The crystal, we believe, is unclonable because he has intrinsic features that make it unique. With respect to serial number, serial number can be easily copied. The crystal, we believe, cannot even be uh, simulated. So the patterns of colors that the crystal give you in answer, we believe, is hardly simulatable. There are many possibilities for their application, not only in credit cards or personal IDs, the technology could be used, for example, to thwart the sale of fake brand products. It can be used to authenticate objects, valuable objects, for example. So you could imagine putting one of these puffs on a smartphone and make sure that this is really this unique smartphone. I could take a photo of it with another smartphone and I can check whether it's authentic. Well, here it's authentic. And the special thing is that you cannot remove this. So if I try to remove it, it would be immediately broken. So this is just a mock-up, but it's really how it will be working. The researchers are still optimizing the process and conducting final security tests. But this idea of exploiting the unique properties of liquid crystals for new applications could soon bear fruit. A good example of innovative research through interdisciplinary cooperation in Luxembourg. <laughs>